Hello, our viewers out there. This is your regular reporter, Sister Adaze Arubi, Ni Apasubi, reporting for God's Kingdom Society, United Kingdom branch. It is a day of joy for us here in the United Kingdom as London branch celebrates Freedom Day 2024. Today, the 19th of October 2024, is the eve of the Freedom Day celebration. Yeah, in London branch is going to be packed full of music and dancing and praises to the Most High God in honor of the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, who was born over 2,000 years ago. So put on your dancing shoes, get ready, and join the celebration because the Freedomites are rejoicing. Good tidings of peace have been proclaimed for us. Just relax as we bring you a short documentary.
thanks to the Almighty God and His Son Jesus Christ for giving us this privilege to be able to come in here today to mark, to prepare, and also to glorify His Son. It was John who made this proclamation. I'm sorry, Luke, who made the proclamation, which said, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men.
to glorify His Son and to do things that are appropriate to honor His Son. And John, writing in the book of John chapter 5, if you read it from verse 23, John chapter 5, if you read it from verse 23, what God asked John to tell us about we glorifying his son. Please read. That uh, all men should honor the son. He said that all men should honor the son. For God so loved the world that he said his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I sent my son not to destroy this world, but through him the world might be saved. So it is a good thing to honor, to mark the anniversary of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because he brought us grace, because he brought us freedom, because he brought us that hope of everlasting life. So we're not being told that he is happy if we honor his son. Yes, go on. Even as they honor the Father. As we honor the Father. He said we should honor the Son. And so, having this reason, he went for us to tell us. Now read verse 31. What did he say? If I bear witness of myself. He said, if I bear witness of myself, yes. My witness is not true. Because witness is not true. The reason why I'm actually telling you that Christ was sent to this world. And he made witness that God sent him to this world. To deliver man from sin and death. And so it is important for us to honor him. Yes, go on. Continue to read. Go to verse 32. There is another that beareth witness of me. Go to verse 32. There is another that beareth witness. He said, There is another that beareth witness unto him. He made us to understand that he is the light of the world. He is also those that he came to show us his light. And this light that he brought to us. Is a light of truth. Is a light of everlasting life. And that light is the light that leads us to the path of righteousness. And so, having known this, we thank God that God has given us the privilege to be able to be part of those who are going to celebrate, who are continuing to celebrate or mark the anniversary of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.
when the angels proclaimed during his birth, he said, glory be to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. And that goodwill towards men is the love that God has for us. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. 
write us at Banoma. A member of the administrative committee, um, tickets will open by God's grace. And I know you've got a very important role to play as far as Freedom Day celebration in London is concerned. Yes, it's, uh, yeah. it's about putting together all the stuff, all the dots, crossing all the eyes and everything. And also by God's grace, we will service tomorrow. Uh, I have the privilege to be the MC to organize the groups that will be performing tomorrow. So what will our audience Oh, our viewers be expecting tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we, we are hoping that God willing, it's going to be a very, very good day. We have very some a few new groups that have been that will be performing tomorrow that will be showcasing tomorrow, and also all the other groups we have been practicing. I've had the privilege to see them practicing. So tomorrow is going to be, as they say, it's going to be a blast tomorrow. By the grace so, of God, jo come and join us and let us celebrate. And let us praise God together. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much, sir.
only begotten son to come and redeem us from sin. So he stands for it. The angel said that we should sing and praise God because he has given us that grace. So we thank God for giving we us that grace. Thank you very much, thank you. Brother Oziwa, Vice Chairman of London Branch. Thank you.
second, second segment is going on. Hello. Uh, can you tell our our viewers your name and uh, who you are and uh, what we are celebrating, please? My name is Munachi. I know we are celebrating Freedom Day. Okay. Happy Freedom Day. Happy Freedom Day. So today is the eve. So tomorrow is the main day. You are welcome, my brother. You are welcome. Members are eating their food. Getting their food. We thank God for the, for the eve by His grace. My dear sister, this is Freedom Day Eve, London Branch. We welcome you. We thank God for everything. What is Freedom Day Eve? Why? Okay, the reason why we do Freedom Day Eve it's for us to celebrate the goodness of God. We do it before the main event where we get to feast on God's word, on the spiritual aspect. Today is for celebration, is for dancing, is for praising God and also getting to be familiar with our God. So what's the celebration about? What's the dancing about? Dancing is about giving thanks to God Almighty. We are thanking God for sending Jesus Christ who brought freedom to mankind and the yes. blessings of the freedom because indeed, Jesus Christ brought peace to us. He brought peace. He brought everything. He brought, he brought salvation. Freedom. Freedom. Salvation. Yes. And everything. Yes. Thank yes. you, my Thank dear sister.